Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker, and this is day nine of my making YouTube videos and doing gratitude lists. And it's, you know, nine out of 100, so I still have 91 to go. <laughs> and I'm, um, but I am grateful that I'm still making the videos. And so today has kind of been like a weird backwards day for me. I don't know if anybody else is like me when it comes to weather, but I swear my body knows when there's bad weather because this morning I woke up with a little bit of a headache. It's not like a full blown migraine, but it's like taunting me like the back of my head, like, oh, we're going to like turn this into a full blown migraine. So I'm like, okay, this is a just stay at home, relax, do nothing kind of a day. And instead I just felt like I needed to go to work like this morning and I was like, I don't even want to get out of bed. But I'm grateful that I did because I got out, I went to work, and then I came home and I went back to bed and I took a nap. So now I'm up again and then I read my scriptures and meditationals and now I'm doing this. So I feel like today is kind of a little bit backwards or weird because the weather is messing with my head and then when my head feels like this, I just don't want to do anything. And and then when I don't do anything, I think it just feeds the depression, even though I know it's okay for me to take care of myself and take care of my body and, you know, be gentle with myself when I don't feel good. It's okay not to do everything that I would on a day where I do feel good. But for some reason, I still have that negative thinking in my head that it's like, no, I have to be just as productive when I don't feel good as I am when I, when I do feel good. And that's, <laughs> that's totally messed up. So I just kind of am tired, have a bit of a headache today. It's not horrible, it's just a little one. And I really hope it doesn't turn into a full-blown migraine and dizzy spells and all that not fun stuff that it normally does. So <laughs> I'm like, hey, I went to the store, got me a little caffeine. And um, so tonight I'm planning on just laying at home, relaxing. Maybe I'll do some writing instead of going out working. And if I'm lucky, I'll actually go to bed early. But I also have to remind myself to eat because when I don't feel good, I don't eat. I also don't eat very much when I'm depressed either. It's really bad. <laughs> I'm very good at like food is the last thing I want. Or I, you know, overindulge because I haven't eaten all day and I'm like, I'm starving. And then I just binge. It's terrible. I have really bad eating habits. So I'm learning today that I need to listen more to my body, especially when it's telling me that it's hungry or thirsty because I'm also dehydrated a lot because <laughs> I just don't drink enough water. So I need to drink more water. I need to eat more regularly. It'd probably be better if I'd go to the grocery store and buy food and make food, but baby steps. I'm going with baby steps. I'm like, I just need to try to eat like at least three meals a day and drink more water and take better care of myself and my body. And when it tells me I need to do things, I need to listen. And so, I mean, I can relax and and write on my book, that's not gonna kill me and I can go to bed early or put some ice on my head or whatever. I know all the little tricks that I can do to help my headache not turn into a full-blown migraine and make me crazy. Of course, I can't control the weather, so if the weather keeps doing this weird thing because it's monsoon season, that might just interfere with me regardless of what I do because I have no control over the weather which means I have no control over my headache, which I really don't like that my body does that. I'm like, yes, it's stormy outside. But then again, this is why I live in Arizona where it's sunny like 85, 90% of the time because then I don't have to deal with my body negatively reacting to the weather. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe other people have that issue, like your body's sensitive to like the change in the weather, you know, when a storm's coming because of an old injury or something, or maybe you get migraines like me, but... It just reminds me that we're all connected, you know, to nature and God's the one that created the earth and created us. And so we're all connected. It's that nice little reminder. But it's also, I think, Heavenly Father's way of reminding me that I need to take care of myself and that it's okay to have like lazy days or slow days where I just don't do as much or relaxing days. I don't have to be going 24-7 to be, to be okay. And so I'm like, I'm I'm good just the way that I am. I make some good choices. Maybe they're not always the best choices because I can always think of something I could have done better, but I'm trying to get away from the coulda, shoulda, what have things or what I did in the past because I can't go back and change that, but I can change how I respond today and hopefully change what I do in the future. So I'm grateful that I'm learning. I'm grateful that this is 
day nine and I'm still doing gratitude videos in spite of how I feel because honestly, I just don't like, I don't want to today. But I know if I didn't today, then I just didn't think that I would start up again. And that just seems sad. I'm only nine days in. So yes, I'm nine days in and I'm still struggling. I keep hoping this will be like, you know, an easy peasy, whatever, you know, and I have days where I wake up and I'm like, okay, this is totally my new habit. I'm doing this. And then days like today where I'm like, and I didn't do this first. So this became towards the end of my day. And then it's kind of the end of my day. I don't want to do it. But I am grateful that I made a little bit of a change today, a little bit. But normally when I tell myself I'm going to do something later or I'll do it tomorrow or I'll do it, you know, whenever, that whenever, that later, that never seems to happen. So every time I'm like, I do something else in lieu of what I feel like I'm supposed to do, like in lieu of, you know, like going to work this morning in lieu of reading scriptures and meditationals and making a YouTube video and then going to work. So I kind of did all of that. <laughs> backwards. So when I did my to-do list today, I just listed all the stuff I already did. So I got to cross off half of it, which was awesome. I'm like, hey, I've already done half the stuff I was supposed to do today because that's stuff I already did before I got around to my to-do list today. But I'm grateful that I actually got around to my to-do list today, that I still followed through with what I said I was going to do today. Well, at least what I told myself that I was going to do today. So that makes me feel good. It makes me feel better. And I'm grateful. And I'm also grateful that I got out and went to work this morning because I think Heavenly Father knew that if I didn't get up and go to work this morning, by the time this afternoon rolled around, I wasn't going to go to work because I wouldn't feel good. And I'm like, oh, no, getting <laughs> not going out, not doing anything. The weather's getting the better of me. And so I'm trying not to let the depression take over just because I don't feel good. That doesn't mean I have to be depressed or discouraged. And I realize that I set these really high expectations of myself. I go to the extremes. And so I think my disappointment is that I can't meet my unrealistic expectations and not so much that I'm disappointed in what I've actually accomplished. Because when I look at what I've actually accomplished and the changes that I've been making over the last nine days, <laughs> it's it's good. And it's amazing the stuff that I have done that I didn't think that I would be doing. And so it's it makes me feel good. But if I think of all the things that I wish that I was doing or that I used to be able to do like 10 years ago and a whole day, and I'm like, how come I can't do that? And I'm like, well, because I'm overweight, I'm out of shape because I haven't been doing any of this stuff for years. So I can't just wake up and suddenly have the energy to do all of those things. It just, it doesn't work. I want it to, <laughs> but it doesn't. So I'm learning that I have to it's like starting over and I have to rebuild all of those muscles and I have to regain that energy. And the older I get, the harder it is to do that too. But it's possible because with God, all things are possible. So I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful that I can do this. And I'm just grateful for the little reminders that it's okay, baby steps, one day at a time. I don't have to do everything all at once, that I am doing a good job today, that I am doing good, that I actually follow through and I'm doing the things that I said I was going to do that I told myself I was going to do tonight when I didn't do it this morning or before I took a nap and I was like I'm going to take a nap and then I'm going to get up and do all this stuff and <laughs> in the past I would be like I'm going to do that and then I take a nap and get up but I'm like yeah I'm not going to do all that stuff and then I you know end up just watching tv or playing or doing something stupid because I didn't do this so it's kind of like I let the depression get the better of me and I just just turn my head to the wall and be like, hey, that's it, I'm done. And it's sad, it's very sad. And so I'm very happy, I'm proud of myself for not doing that today. And um, I don't know how much writing I'm gonna get done tonight, but I think the only things left for me to do is to like work on my book a little bit, get something to eat, journal and go back to bed, which is probably good, especially since my head is all messed up with the weather. So anyway, I am grateful I'm doing this video and I hope this helps and I hope this will encourage other people. It's like, it's okay to have bad days or to not feel like doing stuff or to take a day off if you need to, but I'm going to try not to take a day off in the next hundred days or at least not a day off of YouTube videos because again, I'm just afraid if I let myself skip a day, I just won't get back to it or I might, but it will be like three or six months down the road or a year from now and I just... I don't want to put off 
getting better and being grateful and seeing the changes that I can make in my life and the progress that I'm making because it's exciting. It's giving me something to look forward to. It's giving me a purpose, a reason to get out of bed and do things. And I'm grateful for that. So um, just very grateful for that and grateful that I was able to do this. And so I hope this is helping. And um, if you're liking this, um, you can subscribe, you can share, send it to someone else, whatever it is you feel like doing. And I hope that you're able to fulfill or work through whatever goals and things you're dealing with too. So have a great day. Thanks.